Okay, so today we're going to see how to use Leonardo.ai, which is perfect, by the way, in order to make some print-on-demand products and how to make money with them. Now, if you haven't heard about Leonardo.ai before, well, it is just a perfect thing. I mean, it is way better than Midjourney, way better than Blue Willow. You don't have to, like, write these prompts into a Discord server, and you can just take examples from some other people. So, once you come to the website, Leonardo.ai, you can just go and you can just log in, just make yourself a new account and then you will just click on launch app so you're going to click on this yes i'm whitelisted and you're going to be redirected inside of this app so you don't have to join the discord server i mean you can join the discord server there's like a lot of information there but you don't necessarily have to this is all inside of your app inside of your browser and once you just get inside you'll have a look at some of these amazing creations okay so i can guarantee that each one of these is way better than for example mid journey you know because just take a look at this i mean this is just incredible i mean the realism of this one and all of these and what is really cool about this one is that for example on each picture that you click you will get like the prompt that has been used in order to generate and it's the case with all of these so I don't know click on this one you will get a prompt so you can for example just copy the prompt and you can just make something similar to this style so if you want to go and if you just want to see certain style that you like you can just do that right away okay no experience needed with this one you can just copy and paste the prompts and you will get some beautiful results but today i'm going to focus on print on demand products and what is really popular about these print on demand products are patterns okay so we're going to see how to make patterns or just how to search for them and how to create them ourselves so once you make yourself an account on leonardo there are like multiple options on how to choose and how to select patterns. Now, you can just scroll down and you'll just find some patterns, of course, but they're not so popular when it comes to making, you know, because people are just like focused on these like crazy, crazy realistic and like, I don't know, magical things. But the thing that you can do is you can just go and search for these creations and you can just go to community feeds and on these fine tune models here and then you can search this gallery. So you can just go to community models and then you can search for some patterns. So I'm just going to go and I'm just going to search like this. So search patterns, you will just have like a lot of these. So what you can do is you can just heart these so just like these so they go into your bookmarks so let's say for example that you go inside of these fine-tuned models you search for patterns you have even textures here you can click on the textures and it's going to open all of these so what you can do is for example click on this one memphis patterns v2 and then you will have a wide variety of selections so if you just click on this one you will of course have something like this so what you can do is you can follow this or you can just heart it, you know, so you can just get it to your bookmarks so you can access to it. Now, I'm just going to show you, for example, how you can just create these for yourself. So what do you have to do? Well, you just have to copy this prompt. You just exit this now, exit all of it. And of course, you have AI image generation button here. Click on there. And now you just have to go and paste the prompt into your generation tool. I was playing with this like all around and I gotta tell you that it is really, really cool and really good. Now, the thing that is different from Mid Journey, for example, is that here you can just go and search Leonardo Diffusion and on the left hand side here, you can select the size. You can select, for example, Talon is really important for making patterns and you have a lot of these like little nitty gritties that you can play with with you know so let's now click on generate and let's see what will we make from the same same prompt that that person used okay so i'm just gonna do it like this now we're gonna leave it for a second and we're gonna come back to it so here's the deal here's what i've got by using the same pattern of course it's never gonna be the same and it's a good thing with these like ai tools the same prompt you are never gonna same picture you know because that way you can be original you know you won't repeat someone else's pattern you just follow the same style but the result that you are going to get it's always going to be different so it's good for originality you know because if you make something on redbubble for example or maybe amazon merch or printful you want that originality you know you want your products to stand out 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to download this picture by clicking on this button, download image. It's going to go to your computer, of course. And then we have to choose a certain platform on which we are going to make money with. That can be Amazon Merch On Demand. As I've said, you can go to Printful or you can just use Redbubble. On each one of these, whatever you choose, you just have to make yourself an account first. And then you just have to worry about the sizes of your picture because we have seen on Leonardo that you're going to get 1024 by 1024. And that is going to work on Redbubble, but it's not going to work on Amazon Merch On Demand and it's not going to work on Printful because, I don't know, the sizes matter. But I'm going to show you how you can upscale the picture that you get from AI tool Leonardo. And I'm going to tell you how to make it bigger, okay, without losing quality. That's important. But Redbubble is not like so demanding. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to show you how this looks like and how you can monetize this. So once you make yourself an account on Redbubble, you can just go and you can just create your own work, sell your art. And then, of course, firstly, you will have to design your product. Click on add new work here. Now, when you click on that, of course, click on the upload new work and then just upload that picture. So when the upload is complete, you're going to see something like this. And then down there, you're going to see a lot of these products. Now, I don't like to deal with like clothing much, maybe some dresses or something, but I tend to work with like phone cases, stickers and magnets, like these mouse pads, desk mats and these pillows, even these like shower curtains, you know, these work better. And with AI tool, even better, you know, so these cat mats, dog mats, pet blankets, you know, clothing, I think that you just have to do a lot more work in order to get it done. But what is important is, for example, that when you click on this one, so the thing that you have to do in order to cover all of this, you have to go and choose the pattern and click on the regular grid here. So you're going to see now how it's look like. So it really looks beautiful, this phone case now, for example. And of course, you can just imagine how it's going to look like with your design. But right now, this looks like really, really cool, right? Let me just scroll down to show you something else. So for example, look at this pillow. You just click on it now the thing the trick that i have shown you this is really important this regular grid when you click on it it will cover the whole pillow and it's going to look like this now okay so you can see i'm going to enable this one i just like this one i like mouse pads as well and i like these phone cases they sell like crazy okay on redbubble especially redbubble has a lot of traffic on its own you can market yourself but this one has already tons of traffic and you will just sell like crazy. OK, so you can, of course, now go and play with all of these. You can just, for example, click on this one and then just choose that pattern, regular grid. And you can, of course, just make it smaller, but you can't make it bigger. You know, that's why that size matters. But I'm going to show you now how you can take the image that you've got from Leonardo and how you can upscale it, make it bigger. The thing that I'm going to use firstly is a vectorizer and it's not this one I but this one AI. So vectorizer.ai. What do you want to do? You want to go in there. You just drag that image in here. And of course, it's going to take like a few seconds in order to process this. But you are going to get a vector image. You're going to get SVG. And because it's an SVG, you can do whatever you want with it. You can make it bigger. For example, you can just go over to canva.com because it's free. You can just scale this one on there. Now you can see that the original image and this vectorize result they look just the same. So now I'm just going to download this one. This file format could be SVG. It has to be. Click on it. And then, of course, when you land into Canva, click on the custom size right away. And this is what I want you to make. So 4,500 by 4,500. You can do anything with this one. It's going to be enough for Amazon on merch, for Redbubble to make it bigger, for whatever. So once you get inside, you have to like drag and drop that image or click on upload and then upload files. And of course, when it's done, just move it like this. And because we have seamless pattern, just take a look what will happen. It will just increase in size and it's not going to lose the quality. OK, so this is what we need. Now, now when I share this one, when I download this one as a PNG, you can do that. Now you can go and you can create your products on Amazon Merch On Demand and on Printful, of course. But on this one, on Redbubble, you can even increase in size each one of these products. OK, so you can see it really looks good. It is really easy to make. You just have to go and copy the prompts from other people. Just see and see. I don't know. What do you like? You will most likely find something on Leonardo that you like.
all of these designs, all of these like people that are already creating, you can find a lot of these, for example, a lot of patterns. You can just search for them. these textures. You have a lot of them. So for example, this one, you just click on this one and you will get a lot of these recommendations. Okay. So for example, if you like this one, click on it, you will get the prompt details in there. You can even like follow this person. So to see more results from that. Okay. And then just look what happens. So for example, if I like certain pattern I don't know maybe it is like this one I can just hard it you know so I just bookmark this one so I can find it later and for example this one I like really cool looking so this one for example and then you just go to your home and then you just head over to your personal feed there and of course you will see the liked feed okay so this is your liked feed what do you want to do now click on that here you have this prompt copy the prompt head over to AI image generation just pick the prompt and of course it is important to make this tiling and of course 1024 by 1024 and Leonardo diffusion so that's all that you got to do it's really simple now you just gotta go and sit down and just invest a bit of your time you know no investment of money just your time so just go and play with it go to Redbubble Amazon merch on demand whatever and start making that money okay just go slowly make a clear strategy and be dedicated I'll catch you